So we're at Brighton Co. I'm with mommy. Hi, mommy. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> <laughs> so we're at Brighton Co. Bridal and special occasions in Ravonia, and we're gonna go check out some wedding dresses. Let's go. Mommy, are you overwhelmed? Yes, I am. <laughs> Let's go there. Let's look at the ones on the. So I tell my mom that I like this dress and she says <laughs> <laughs> and she says I'm gonna get her dating. <laughs> wedding dress shopping it's kind of a biggie every girl when she dreams of the day when she walks down that aisle and she looks into her future husband's eyes she dreams of the dress that she's going to be wearing it's it's a huge deal I went to a number of different wedding dress places to look for the perfect dress and you'd think since you've pinned all the dresses that you want and you've been on Instagram, you've saved everything that you want, you've done all the research, you know which fabric, you know how long it should be, you know the shape, you know everything about your dress, that it would be actually easy to find it. And it's not. No. It's a completely different story when you get to the boutique and when you have to try on the dresses and when you speak to the people who are going to be helping you to find the dress that you want. A lot happens when you look for your wedding dress and I have my own opinions about how all my dresses fit and how they look and I want to share them with you but first have a look let me know what you like we'll chat afterwards Look at the ones on the. You see this one? I tell my mom that I like this dress, and she says, <laughs> <laughs> and she says I'm gonna get her dating. <laughs> We just got to Eurobride. I'm here with my cousin Kat and we're going for fittings together. She's also getting married. So this is her first fitting. This is my second fitting. Well, first fitting with Eurobride, but second dress visit. So exciting! Exciting! You should have it. Oh, okay. So I don't know if you guys have met my cousin Kat. Hello! Hi! This is Kat, she's also getting married next year, later. Sometime. <laughs> Sometime. <laughs> so exciting times, I'm so excited. She drove in heels. 
cute. <laughs> um, and I'm vlogging from my phone today because someone forgot to charge her battery. So bad, 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 bad blogger. <laughs> we'll see what happens. <laughs> So now we're at Villa uh, Bridal Boutique. It is Eve's Boutique. It's just the name has just been changed. So we're about to go do that too. I'm so excited. Yay! journey to uh -huh. yeah okay so okay i like it it's very i won't put any of the ones that are in the running uh -huh. in the video okay yeah All right. yeah no. uh, i like it i thought i wouldn't but it's getting almost there, there. Yeah. yeah it's almost there and i like the was that a hot chick a uh, sweet type next line yes Gives the waist some definition. Yeah. So I like the simplicity and then this. The bottom. The simplicity the and the bottom. So from, so from here going down, you can make I'm happy. And then at the top would need to do something with the top. Yeah. Okay. Literally. You like stuff that's light and musical. You like. Yeah. <laughs> you like thin. I something. could do. I could do the type of you know the the like folded tool. Yes. <laughs> She was 12. She was come, uh, just 12 to us. 10. Turn. 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 Yeah. In the front. Ah. <laughs>
will admit it, wedding dress shopping is a whole lot of fun. I mean, who doesn't like a bit of dress up, getting into a wedding dress, and trying all those different looks and ball gowns and feeling like Cinderella just for a little bit and picturing how you're going to look like when you walk down that aisle. But there is that added stress because you're just like, oh my word, what am I gonna wear on my wedding day? Should I settle for this? Should I not settle for this? Should I keep looking and hunting for what I want? It's a whole lot. It's, it's so much fun. You have to go with a friend. You have to go with someone whose opinion you trust. And someone who's gonna have fun with you. And I'm happy that I went with Kat because it was, it was fun. I liked her opinion. She was very honest. And on the other hand, the most important thing was that she understood what I was looking for. We were both looking for dresses which were quite different. And we listened to each other and were there for each other. The one critique I have about wedding boutiques is that you walk in there and you have an idea of what you want and they know you have an idea of what you want and then they listen to you and then they give you what they think you should wear they shouldn't do that that literally pissed me off i was just so unhappy by the end of the day because i told people that i don't want lace i've been in my fair share of wedding dresses over the years and when i say i don't want lace i really mean it you get to a wedding boutique and they're just like, okay, we know you don't want lace, but try this. Why? I said I don't want lace. When we went to Bride & Co and when we went to Euro Bride, it was a mix of them giving me what they thought I wanted instead of them giving me what I wanted. But when we went to Bride & Tuxedo, I think, they were honest and they told me, listen, we don't have what you want. All the dresses that we have have a lot of bling and a lot of lace, which is what I was trying to avoid. Um, the top two for me definitely have to be um, the ones in Malrose, which is Bridal Wardrobe, as well as Ease Bridal. Oh, guys, they were so nice. Firstly, the service was amazing. They made me feel like I'm the bride and they let me try what I wanted first and let me decide if I wanted or not. Then after they had their suggestions. With the other places, they preferred their suggestions over what I wanted. And if you're dealing with a bride, let her have what she wants and let her decide if it's for her or not. Don't try to make the decision for her. But I, I must tell you, it was so much fun shopping for those wedding dresses. I felt so beautiful. and. When you're shopping for a wedding dress as a bride, there's a number of things that you have to look out for. You have to look out for service. You have to make sure that the contract that they give you when they give you the contract for the dress, read through that thing because you might find the dress that you want in store, but when they order it, some places can't guarantee the color, the fabric, just the look of the dress. I mean, imagine trying on one dress and then when you get the dress, it's a different color. You order pink and then you get red don't want that i think my last 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 option was designing and making my own dress which is exactly what i'm doing i've decided that i want to make my own dress because there was a bit of drama with my dress get into that later but yeah i think i'm just gonna make the dress that i want instead of buying it so yeah that's it baby tell them what i just did she forgot to record i've been forgetting to record guys oh my word welcome to tamba eco hotel As you can see from here going down even as you were coming up on the left that whole open area that's our helipad we also use it for like outdoor weddings okay oh, even, nice. it's not being used on the day that direction it's easy access just it walk is. down this aisle here what's what's we're going to the church now oh, from here okay. yes so that's where everything would start okay. it's eco hotel we had a garden here that always suffered through the winter so what that's oh. what now they're bringing this now these are much more of your water wise kind of plants. Oh, okay. Stay water. You don't have to irrigate them like over and over again. So mm. it also keeps us on our eco side. Yeah. You know, our eco friendly side. It's beautiful though. It's quite beautiful. It is quite beautiful.
Pikachu, you're just like. I like that. Now it feels good and I am not sitting well. I like that. So this is just a typical station so pretty. for hundreds of people, for hundreds. So you oh, have so an idea of what, what kind of canapes, desserts that will, will have be on your day. Yeah. Yeah. These are so pretty. And now we just have now a new chef, it's an international chef, just started with us, Chef David. Mm -hmm. So he's been, yeah, great, hey? Great, great, great. Is this so a smaller, smaller venue? Smaller venue is That's so cute. It's an example of some of the things that we do. Yeah. Oh, this is pretty. This is standard. Yeah. Once we go up, once we move up with the bigger packages, we need to go to pre, to Dulux, the color, we put colored glasses. This is standard. Egg. This is standard. Oh wow! Yeah. This is a lot for standard. Yeah, this is standard. So what you go higher, you, you guys change, actually have. You just swap like things like your base plate. Yeah, I saw on your base plate when you go higher. Put being uh, a glass bar. Uh, what do you call this? Base plate. When you go higher again, we'll do a uh, Soviet ring. The wines that we put on the table, the, the premium yeah, will change, yeah. will give you better quality wines. And then again on the diamond, we also put a bottle of Johnny Walker on mm. each and every table also. These are nice, really big pots. Very big, yeah, very big. These are. And the chairs is this side, separated on this side. Oh, okay. he's in his basins. Oh, yeah. Quite separate, he's in hers. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> Not that we want to separate people. <laughs> If you think about it, from 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 since you asked until the wedding, it's less than a year. V. From, from what? From when you asked until the wedding, it's less than a year. So this would be the the bridal suit. This okay. is the room that I'll make early check-in for you on the on the day, on the morning of your of your day. Yeah, it is spacious. Yes, it is quite. It comes also with a patio on the side. All of our rooms, actually down here, have patios. Yeah. Yes. So cute. It comes with a full bar. This is what it will come with. Oh, nice. It's part of the package. You won't use this, and then it will come later on when you check out. <laughs> yeah. <It's> like, <laughs> with, <laughs> with compliments. <laughs> yeah. We've yeah. been to places you, you take them out. And then <laughs> then <laughs> you won't get any funny. But it comes with an espresso machine also. Yeah. Unlike any other rooms, they don't have expressos, only our VIPs. Other rooms just have a coffee machine. Okay. A hotel coffee station, should I say. Okay. And then it comes with a fully with a full DS all DST channels. Oh, okay. Yeah. No contact. A functionable uh, fireplace. fireplace. And the bathroom's huge. 
bathrooms. <laughs> you guys do not play around we with the bathrooms. Like they actually have so much space. As I said, Tower is a wedding venue. It's not belt later on we decided we want to make weddings here. While it was belts, we would oh, looking at that. So that's your meal, my body. <laughs> <laughs> You'll freak him out. Don't say things like that. Size of which hour though. Yeah, right. But I like the shower. And again, it shows sunlight. Yeah, yeah, lots of it. These are so stunning. Beautiful. V, you didn't even know this place existed. Mm. <laughs> right, yeah, I know your nose. And now. So I was like, this is Kibla Park somewhere. <laughs> like, this looks familiar. Yeah, yeah. All the houses that you see from the side here, yeah, this is Kibla Park. Mm. Yeah. And now you just feel like coming in, G. Yeah, <laughs> so, this restaurant here, it's a walk in restaurant, you can come in at any okay. day of the week. Okay. Yeah, bring your kids, book in birthday parties. Okay. Yeah, it's perfect. Doors are dramatic. They are so dramatic, I love them. I love these doors. <laughs> My type of doors. <laughs> Let me guess, you like it, don't you? I know, Taba Eco Hotel is absolutely stunning. It is beautiful. It is perched up on a mountain, Taba Yabatswana to be exact, just outside of Johannesburg, around the Kibler Park area. It's not too far. It, f it feels like you're outside of Joburg, but you're still in Joburg. It's a good distance. The accommodation is beautiful. The wedding hall is beautiful. They just renovated their gardens and they ceremony hall so the church is really beautiful there's very little that i can complain about about taba eco it's got that african royalty theme going on and it's stunning i mean what can i complain about right wrong i have one big issue with taba eco i love the place i really do loved it so much that i took my mother and v's mother to go see it the big issue is that Taba Eco has this big, stunning, wooden floored hall that can take 400 people. That's exactly what we need for the amount of people that we're bringing to the wedding. I'm not telling you how many, just know it's big enough. Then downstairs, they have a smaller hall, which takes 50 to, I think they said 80 people. Here's where the issue comes in. Should another event happen on the same day as our wedding, they're going to book out the venue unless we pay 20 plus thousand rand. No, that was my biggest issue. If you have a big event happening upstairs where people are going to book quite a lot of the accommodation, if not all of it, I think that it should be courtesy that the hall downstairs doesn't get booked out. And the fact that they wanted us to pay that amount of money and not get any additional benefits for it really rubbed me up the wrong way. I mean, seriously rubbed me up the wrong way. The place can be as beautiful as it can possibly be. They can have the best service that they can possibly have, but I feel as though they wouldn't look out for me. For me, I feel as though if you have a big event happening upstairs and you have the possibility of a small event downstairs, don't book it out. I don't want to get to a place and have to share a venue with 50 other people downstairs. There are going to be issues. They can divide it as best as they can, but there's going to be accommodation issues. We might have party crashes and there's going to be two sound systems going at the same time. I can't, sorry. Mm -mm. No, it really rubbed me up the wrong way. And I just felt as though there are other things that could have happened where they wouldn't have my back as a bride. And with other venues, I felt as though they would wouldn't force me into that position so it's a beautiful place service is amazing it looks beautiful the accommodation is amazing the packages are good but no that whole double booking thing huge issue if that one thing was to change i would definitely go for taba eco but because it isn't it's just definitely off my list can't change my mind about it Yeah, 
leche. Ay, sí, la leche. Más picos.